हेलो माय डियर जियोग्राफर्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू योर ज्योग्राफी क्लास इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास नाइन दैट इज एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर नाउ इन दिस चैप्टर इट इज रियली सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर फाइनल एग्जाम एंड फ्रॉम हियर द डायग्राम स्पेशली दैट आर वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द टॉपिक नाउ एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर सो हियर टू टर्म्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट one it is atmosphere and number two it is pressure so before starting this so let's learn what is air air is the natural substance because before this chapter only we have learned what is atmosphere right so air is a natural substance which is made up or which is formed uh, by various gases right so carbon dioxide oxygen nitrogen all the gases are there not only that the water vapor and some smaller particles they are also the important member of this atmosphere now see here what is this pressure pressure means when an object will exert its weight on a particular area of a particular place so that is known as pressure so here same as what is atmospheric pressure that means on the surface of the earth there are several places so when the air it will give its weight on a particular amount of area of our earth surface then it will be known as atmospheric pressure why atmospheric because here the main agent is air air is only giving the pressure right so this atmospheric pressure it is really so important and it also indicates the climatic condition of a particular place why so because atmospheric pressure and temperature they have a inverse or opposite relationship because when temperature will be increased then obviously the atmospheric pressure will be decreased so here again temperature it is increasing and atmospheric pressure it is decreasing now there are some important amazing facts regarding this atmospheric pressures are given why is this what are this now number 1 the atmospheric pressure it's a natural phenomena right and at the sea level we if we are talking about the sea level so at the sea level the atmospheric pressure is 1013 millibar now one question may arise what is this millibar yes millibar by it is one type of unit which is generally used to measure the atmospheric pressure another important fact regarding atmospheric pressure is when we will go up like we are traveling uh, to our mountain then what will happen the atmospheric pressure will be decreased that means according to the altitude like when the altitude will be uh, there like if we are moving up then obviously the pressure will be decreased so with altitude atmospheric pressure has a inverse relationship again now next one is the instrument so there are basically different types of instrument that is used to measure the atmospheric pressure but in geography the two major instruments are used number 1 it is aneroid barometer and number 2 it is 14th barometer now in our country basically we are dependent on this 14th barometer now one question again will arise then what is this barometer as i told you barometer is nothing but is is one tube like structure which is filled with some amount of mercury so basically here the mercury the up and down or the rise and fall of the mercury it generally indicates the air pressure of that particular region so i think this all are quite clear to you all and this is the basic terminology and basic objectives that is related to this atmospheric pressure now the another important uh, definition from this part is the pressure gradient so let's learn what is pressure gradient generally the rate of change in atmospheric pressure between two points known as pressure gradient so in a very simple form gradient means nothing but it's a slope right so here the pressure gradient means obviously this slope will be related to atmospheric pressure now just imagine this place it is having high pressure that's why i have written h now here this zone it will 
be having low pressure then what will happen the slope will be like this it will uh, like <coughs> sliding down towards this low pressure so pressure gradient means nothing but the rate of change of the air pressure so it is high pressure it is low pressure what is the rate how it is changing it is generally indicated by this pressure gradient so done so pressure gradient means it's a slope like structure which generally indicates the change of uh, atmospheric pressure from the two points it is one point this is another point now another important uh, factor or another important term of this part is isobar what is that isobar if i will just draw one map so this is not exactly a map but still i am drawing a particular uh, region so now on this region different places are located the places which will be having the same atmospheric pressure and then if they will be joined together with a fine line then it will be known as isobar now see here i am giving you just one example so this point it has the air pressure 998 this one it has 1001 this one again 998 this is 1002 it is again 998 and it is 996 so the what is i say that the places which will have the same atmospheric pressure if they will be marked or if they will be joined together with a fine line then it will be known as isobar so see here it is 998 but it is 1001 so we can't join it but still see here it is 998 again so if the places having the same atmospheric pressure if we will join them together with a fine line or with an imaginary line because this line it is imaginary line then it will be known as isobar here iso means equal and bar means it is indicating the atmospheric pressure so i hope this uh, part is quite clear to you all <clears throat> please learn this terms very properly because in your final exam there is a huge possibility to come this parts as a two marks question like what is isobar but there you need to draw this diagram otherwise your answer will not be completed so okay now in next video we are going to discuss the next part of this chapter till then thank you and take care